So I'd love for you to just kind of share your name, where you're from, and yeah, how did how did you first get in touch with my work and what kind of brought you to to working with me at the beginning, even though it was a long time ago. Oh, that's that's a while ago now. Um, yeah, so my name is Jana and I'm from Sweden. And yeah, I started working with you, I think 2021. Yeah. And that was because I was really curious to learn about Ayurveda. Uh, so that's really how it started. Um, and then I joined Head to Heart. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Before we get into, because obviously a lot of my clients as well, like I began doing Ayurveda, I was more focused on digestion and hormones mm-hmm. and kind of helping mm-hmm. people feel good. And I think that was is still a definitely core of my my program however it kind of evolved and changed into looking at the mind and meditation and changing our thoughts and behaviors and and helping women kind of make that leap and that transition in their life to to do something from from love instead of fear so i'd love to first just come back to the ayurvedic stuff that we did what what shifted in you the first first kind of one-on-one work that we did together before we get into the group stuff um yeah I, I think in the beginning it was you know I was really interested about the digestion and um and I was also just at that period I didn't have my my period and just you know we were working I think just a few weeks together when I got when I got back my period and we had just been doing some meditation and breath work yeah and yeah that was really um really interesting for me to to notice that um yeah so that was that was one thing that that happened um obviously i i I love ayurveda because it it gets to the the digestion and very much linked to how we feel is you Mm. know the serotonin in our body and our in our in our gut microbiome but i felt like it wasn't enough and i think that's why i birthed head to heart which is mm. now my kind of signature offer I, I worked with this in a group and a one-on-one and you got to do the group program last year uh, 2022 um and yeah I'd love to share kind of your journey in head to heart the group and kind of then what was your transformation of, of head from head to heart what was your main takeaway and, and, and yeah what what was the pinnacle shifting point in your life from that from that kind of the sessions mm. that we did together individually and you know in the mm. group program what what inspired you from maybe the other girls and um yeah what was your aha moment your takeaway from that, that program that we did together yeah I think like why I really wanted to join was also because I, I had been so focused on my digestion and like diets and and like what I eat and, and chemicals and all of that kind of stuff but I think what I always thought was really interesting too is just like the connection with the mind uh, and that that you know has such a big role as well and meditation and everything so I thought it was really interesting to get into the program and learn more about meditation and breath work and yeah and especially because I had noticed that it you know had already helped me with my period and I don't think there was like this like a big aha moment or anything um, I think more that it gave me like this I think like like an unconscious um feeling or knowledge that I have now in my day-to-day you know like things that I can go back to and you know just thinking of gratitude or um having this routine now to meditate in the morning and um yeah just I think a lot of small things that I learned along the way that just are unconsciously there always um so I think it's it's yeah it's more like that kind of feeling you know not like not like a big aha moment or anything but yeah I know we we were speaking about it just before how like a lot of the time the big shift is not necessarily Mm -hmm. the big leap is not necessarily like a massive one externally it's a it's a Mm -hmm. subtle shift of like getting out Mm -hmm. of our mind and seeing life as like oh wow I, I actually what I think you know creates my reality and I think that was like mm-hmm. aha like shift you know that you had and I remember when we had our conversation I know you, you didn't mind sharing it that you were gonna choose a different path you were gonna choose to, oh, yeah, 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 to have yeah. a, a child at the you know at the end of the program you were kind of thinking about it and 
um and I remember asking you that question like why you why do you want to have a child and yeah. and I think you you share like I don't I don't want to feel like look alone and it was yeah. interesting because it was the first time in my own coaching practice where I felt like I really had to be honest and and it was also mm. you know uncomfortable for me to to say to you like oh you get to you know have a child out of fear because I there's a part of me that's like I don't want to you know crush your dreams if that's like mm-hmm. a, a desire for you and obviously it, it mm-hmm. still is at some point for many mm-hmm. women and um, what what happened to you when you kind of when we had that session and you ended up you know completely shifting your direction um in mm-hmm. that moment and, and and actually ended up choosing something completely different which is now <laughs> hopefully you're going to share with us what that was yeah 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 I mean for sure there was a big aha in the shifting <laughs> moment <laughs> um yeah yeah I think a lot about that conversation because it was just that one question you know like why do you want to have a child and yeah for me I think just fear has always been the fear of being alone has always been throughout my life and I think having a child also was you know that fear was a big part of it because I didn't want to end up alone and I wanted just to have my own family and also because I'm surrounded by a lot of people here that have that life and and um yeah but but you you asked me the question and and I was also dreaming of 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 traveling and maybe like getting a van and getting out and just seeing what's out there still you know if there's a different life maybe for me and and so then after that conversation I really thought about it a lot and and I was like well I can still have have a kid but I, I should at least try to to you know follow that dream and you know this year stop and not go ahead with a kid but maybe just buy a van and do it this year and then um and then I can still see you know if I want that but just get some perspective I think and and so I I bought the van uh just a few months later and then I just started saying to people I I remember when I bought the van you know I told them that oh I wanted to get the price down. I said, like, I'm, I'm going to go to Spain and I want to go traveling. Then I felt like I was lying because I was like, I'm not going to go to Spain, like, really. <laughs> I mean, I want to, but I, I'm not really going to do it. And yeah, and then I just kept saying it to people and I started saying it to work that, oh, November, December, January, I'm going to be gone. And then end of no- November came and I was like, okay, I'm going to go. I don't have any plan, you know, but now I'm going to go because I said I'm go- I was going to go and and I just did. Um, yeah so so I did (laughs) and and I think yeah that journey really really, I don't know what expectations I had because really I had no plan and as I was out traveling the first weeks I was also like why am I doing this and what's where am I going what's really like yeah it was a lot of questions and also a lot of feeling like I'm lonely because I didn't meet a lot of people in the beginning but just as I um decided that I was going to slowly turn around and go back I've I found a lot of people that I really connected with and that was a really changing like a turning point for me to to stay and to really feel I think this feeling that I've really been longing for to to belong to a group and have this community feeling and yeah I think that was a really big reminder of me f- of what I'd been longing for like maybe it's not just this one person a relationship or a baby or I think just having people around you that you feel like you belong to or you connect with is so much bigger and it's so much yeah it's something that I really was longing for I think and um so yeah in the end it didn't really matter what places I went to it was the people that I met and um now coming back home I feel like I still have the people around me. Like I have the people, I talk to them and um, I always know that this life is out there for me. I can always go again. And that's just such a great feeling to have this freedom. Um, And yeah, I'm not that, I think like in this environment here back home where everyone has a kid and a family, I don't feel that much like I need that. Where I'm like an outsider from that because I know that there are people out there that live more a different life and I can always connect with them and I don't have to be alone so so that really gave me some perspective on what choice I want to make in, in the future and 
yeah and what I need I think such a powerful realization I think it's yeah. interesting when we start living more from the heart and I think you know a big part of I guess the work that we did together and that you continue to do in your own practice now like you have a very strong meditation practice is is coming back into that self-inquiry and of like mm. and I think really like that feeling of belonging was so important to you that feeling of like I want to find a place where I belong and and you mm. found that and you know that you can go back to it any place and I think even just the vulnerability that you're sharing this today and you you know I think back back when we did our first um testimonial it was like it was just made on the Ayurveda and it was de such a different testimony like now you're so open and vulnerable and you know sharing from the heart which is just literally mm. you know the essence of, of this work that we've done and yeah I'm just so proud of you to to wake up in the morning and see this beautiful video of your journey and and see this like completely different yana and and yeah just more in your power and more confident and connected to yourself and mm -hmm. yeah like you said you just know that the, you're not living in that fear anymore you're living from your heart and more from a place of freedom which is just so mm -hmm. beautiful yeah yeah yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for joining the journey. And, and it was so beautiful to see um Yana like so you know went and saw Layla, one of our other clients that was on the head to heart journey. And we'd also done a one on one uh journey together. And she came on the retreat uh last year that I ran and yeah, and to see you guys together just brought so much joy to my heart to see that it was so yeah, beautiful oh. to meet her. Yeah. Yeah. It's beautiful. It was really lovely. Yeah, so yeah. so happy. Well, thank, thank you so much for the, the your time and your energy and your devotion to yeah to, to choosing freedom it's really you're going to be an inspiration to anyone listening and and watching this you know yana really took that leap and um yeah i'm just so proud of you thank you <laughs> thank you <laughs> yeah not feeling <laughs> like yeah no i just think it gave me back a lot of confidence and this feeling of of that I'm enough you know that I'm that I, that I I like the way that I am and that it's yeah I, I think just yeah I'm not feeling like an outsider I think in a, in a way and it's it's not fair maybe to say that because you know like I have beautiful friends back here and it's just I have a really great life it's not that it's just mm. still like this feeling when you you're surrounded by people that kind of have are, are living a different life than it can be easy to get stuck in like comparing yourself to how everyone else is living their life. And um, yeah. And I think I've always felt like there's something that I want to do different. And, you know, it's, it's just when you're in the right environment and around the right people, then it really brings out something like the confidence in me, I think. And um, yeah. I think it, I think honestly, like, for me head to heart and 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 all of the the offerings that I do is from a place of feeling that I haven't belonged many in many moments and I think I've always wanted to bring community together because it made me feel like I belong and I'm a part of something so I really feel like a lot of the time we create from our own desires of like what we want to what, what we need you know and I think even like for you, you said you're not very confident had, haven't been a very confident person but your photography is like so bold and incredible it's like it really you create you you show your creativity you show your power through your photography and I feel like a lot of artistic people are like that they create you know they they may not feel so expressive you know you know mm -hmm. in their day-to-day -day life but in their it, they pull their expression their creativity into yeah. that so for sure yeah yeah for sure yeah